Nigel Slater born the 9th of April 1958 is an English food writer, journalist and broadcaster. He has written a column for The Observer magazine for over a decade and is the principal writer for The Observer Food Monthly Supplement. Prior to this, Slater was food writer for Marie Claire for five years. He also serves as art director for his books. Early life On 9 April 1958, Nigel Slater was born in Wolverhampton, West Midlands, to factory owner Tony Slater and housewife Kathleen as the third and youngest son. His mother died of asthma in 1967. In 1971, his father remarried, to Dorothy Perrins, until his death three years later, Slater attended Woodfield Avenue School, Penn, West Midlands. He moved to Worcestershire as a teenager and attended Chantry High School where he enjoyed writing essays and was one of only two boys to take cookery as an O-level subject. According to the BBC article Competitive Cooking, Why Do We Bother? Slater claims in his autobiography Toast that he used food to compete with his stepmother Dorothy for his father's attention. Their biggest battle was over lemon meringue pie, his father's favourite. She refused to divulge her recipe, so Slater resorted to subterfuge to turn out his own version. I'd count the egg shells in the bin, to see how many eggs she'd used and write them down. I'd come in at different times, when I knew she was making it. I'd just catch her when she was doing some meringue, building up that recipe slowly over a matter of months, if not years." An alternative account of this episode is given by Anne, his step-sister, who claims that she made the pie, not her mother, and that the recipe was from a cookbook. He gained an OND in catering at Worcester Technical College in 1976, and proceeded to work in restaurants and hotels across the UK before becoming a food writer for Marie Claire magazine in 1988. He became best known for uncomplicated, comfort food recipes presented in early best-selling books such as The 30-Minute Cook and Real Cooking, as well as his engaging, memoir-like columns for The Observer which he began in 1993. <laughs> <laughs> Television and radio In 1998, Slater hosted the Channel 4 series Nigel Slater's Real Food Show. He returned to TV in 2006 to host the chat food show A Taste of My Life for BBC One and BBC Two. In 2009, he presented the six-part series Simple Suppers on BBC One, and a second series the following year, he appeared as a guest. Castaway. On BBC Radio Fa's Desert Island Discs in June 2005, in November 2013 he starred alongside Adam Henson on BBC's Nigel and Adam's Farm Kitchen. Adam Henson the farmer, and Nigel Slater the chef, joined forces to sow, grow, rear and cook Britain's favourite foods, from a working farm in the Cotswolds, as they tried to get people back in touch with where our food comes from. Topic writing Slater's book, Eating for England, The Delights and Eccentricities of the British at Table Fourth Estate, is devoted to British food and cookery. It was published in October 2007 and was described in the Sunday Times as the sort of ragbag of choice culinary morsels that would pass the time nicely on a train journey. His book Tender is the story of his vegetable garden, how it came to be and what grows in it. The book was published in two volumes, the first is on vegetables, which was released late in 2009 and the second is on fruit, which was released in 2010. Tender is described as a memoir, a study of 50 of our favorite vegetables, fruits and nuts and a collection of over 500 recipes. Slater became known to a wider audience with the publication of Toast, the story of a boy's hunger, a moving and award-winning autobiography focused on his love of food, his childhood, his family relationships, his mother died of asthma when he was nine, and his burgeoning sexuality. Slater has called it the most intimate memoir that any food person has ever written. Toast was published in Britain in October 2004 and became a bestseller after it was featured on the Richard and Judy Book Club, as he told The Observer, the last bit of the book is very foody. But that is how it was. Towards the end I finally get rid of these two people in my life I did not like, his father and stepmother, who had been the family's cleaning lady, and to be honest I was really very jubilant, and thereafter all I wanted to do was cook, a film based on the book also called Toast, starring Freddie Highmore as the 15-year-old Slater and Helena Bonham Carter as his stepmother, has been broadcast on BBC One. Slater's negative portrayal of his stepmother is challenged, however, by his stepsisters. Um, 
Topic: Personal life. Slater has two older brothers, Adrian and John. Slater's parents adopted John, a neighbor's child, before Slater was born. He also has two stepsisters, from whom he is estranged. Slater lives in the Highbury area of North London, where he maintains a kitchen garden which is often featured in his column. Topic: <laughs> Publications and Broadcasting. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cookbooks. The Marie Claire Cookbook, Hamlin, ISBN 0-7064-2573-1, 1992 Real Fast Food, Michael Joseph Limited, ISBN 0-7181-3577-6, 1992 or Penguin Books Limited, ISBN 0-14-046949-4, 1993 Real Fast Puddings, Michael Joseph Limited, ISBN 0-7181-3577-6, 1992 or Penguin Books Limited, ISBN 0-14-023283-4, 1994. The 30 Minute Cook, Michael Joseph Limited, ISBN 0-7181-3752-3, 1994. Real Good Food, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 1995. Real Cooking, Michael Joseph Limited, ISBN 0-7181-4090-7, 1997, or Penguin Books Limited, ISBN 0-14-025277-0, 1999. Real Food, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 1-85702-971-2, 1998, or ISBN 1-84115-144-0, 2000. Appetite, Random House of Canada Limited, ISBN 0-679-31212-9, 2000, or Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 1-84115-470-9, 2000. Thirst, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 1-84115-768-6, 2002. The Kitchen Diaries, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 0 00 719948 1, 2005, or Gotham Books, published by Penguin, USA, Inc. ISBN 1 592 40234 8, October 2006. Tender, Volume 1, Fourth Estate Limited, Harper Collins, ISBN 978 0 00 724849 0, 2009. Tender, Volume 2, Fourth Estate Limited, Harper Collins, 2010. The Kitchen Diaries 2, Fourth Estate Limited, 2012. Eat the Little Book of Fast Food, Fourth Estate Limited, 2013. A Year of Good Eating, The Kitchen Diaries 3, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 978 0 00 753680 1, 2015. The Christmas Chronicles, Fourth Estate Limited, 2017. Topic. Autobiography Toast, The Story of a Boy's Hunger, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 1-84115-289-7-2003 or Harper Perennial, ISBN 0-7011-7287-8-2004 Eating for England, Fourth Estate Limited, ISBN 0-00-719946-5, October 2007 Topic. Broadcasting Nigel Slater's Middle East 2018, three episodes writer and presenter Nigel Slater, Eating Together 2015, four episodes writer and presenter Nigel and Adam's Farm Kitchen 2013, co-presenter Nigel Slater's Great British Biscuit 2013, one-off documentary writer and presenter Nigel Slater's Dish of the Day, 2012, writer and presenter. Nigel Slater, Life is Sweets, 2012, one-off documentary, writer and presenter. Nigel Slater's Simple Cooking, 2011, eight episodes, writer and presenter. Nigel Slater's Simple Suppers, 2009, writer and presenter. A Taste of My Life, 2006 to 2008, 31 episodes, host and presenter. 
Nigel Slater's Real Food Show 1998 host and presenter. Topic awards 1995 Glenfiddich Cookery Writer of the Year Award 1995 Glenfiddich Trophy 1995 Glenfiddich Award for Best Visual Work for the Observer 1996 Media Personality of the Year Award Good Food Awards 1999 Glenfiddich Award for Best Visual Work for Real Food 1999 Best Newspaper Cookery Journalist Award 2000 Andre Simon Award for Cookbook of the Year for Appetite 2004 Andre Simon Award for Toast 2004 Glenfiddich Food Book of the Year Fortos 2004 British Biography of the Year Award for Toast 2004 Observer Food Monthly Book of the Year Award for Toast 2004 W. H. Smith People's Choice Award for Toast 2006 British Book Award for the Kitchen Diaries 2007 Specialist Writer of the Year, PPA Awards 2009 Honorary D. Lit from the University of Wolverhampton 2009 BBC Food Personality of the Year 2018 Fortnum and Mason's Food Book Award Award for the Christmas Chronicles, Notes, Stories and 100 Essential Recipes for Midwinter.